Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint or Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screens. Yes, look at it. No orders, no orders, no orders. We got them all out. Uh, the last ones we have are the nines uh, for the uh, back orders. And then after that, we start on the July. So we'll have July's knocked out by the end of this week. So I'm so happy about that. We're caught up. All right, so uh, as you can see, that 126 inch screen is no longer um, in the uh, next to fireplace. I have it outside on the deck. I'm gonna show you what a jet black screen, an OLED like jet black screen looks like, uh, coating over a screen using our Supreme Black Ambient Light Rejection, uh, sorry, Supreme Black Ambient Light Rejection 12. All right, so let's go outside and let's have a looky. Now I know in the last demonstration I said I wasn't gonna do a movie clip, but I figured might as well do a movie clip and let you see what it looks like with a movie plane. All right, so let's begin. And I'll show you the screen right here. As you can see, it's jet black. That's the new 12 technology. Sorry about the finger being in the way. I'm using my projector over here, which I'm using the ViewSonic uh, VPL FH30. I want to use a Panasonic because it fills out the entire screen. But I'm going to have to get online tonight and buy myself um, a theater uh, receiver because there's no other way I'm going to be able to hook that up uh, without that um, without that receiver. And I do want the black projector out here. All right, so let's begin. Trying to keep my finger on the shot. So my setup down here. When I want to get away, when I don't want to be in the house anymore. Got my big boy grills over here. What a big boy grill there. So that's my cooking area. And you notice, got my LED lights on the back of the screen. And I got my center speaker there. And I got my sub back here. And this is our Supreme Black Ambient Light Rejection 12. Fully weatherproof, no priming needed screen paint. Screens are designed to take on a ton of ambient light, as you can see. Take the lights out.
clip <laughs> I think the clip was gonna be that big all right let me see got light my screen up a little bit here I still want some colors on that black screen of an expensive projector. Now even though I'm using my 4200 lumen projector out here, I've done this with 720p and it looks absolutely incredible. If you're curious to see what it looks like on the 720p NEC short throw projector, I'll put that link at the bottom of the post. Now this is the best way, like, like I said, you don't have to have, my deck isn't that big, but it's a good sized deck. But uh, keep in mind that you can have a nice little balcony. We can put up a 50 inch screen and a Pico projector as long as this name brand I've said this many times in my video demonstrations. We do not support uh, Fake or knockoff projectors some people feel because the their projectors not knockoff if it's not supported If you don't see it on our website on the list of projectors we do support then we don't support it We suggest you do not buy the screen paint or we suggest you to contact me and that way I can actually uh, help you take that projector back, revise you to take it back, or uh, basically you could, um, you have to buy another one. Because like I said, um, we do not support the Valva projector or we Max or any of the other projectors. I gotta get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. Also, too, I want to add something in really quick. Now we had a price change on the nine. The two quarts will be permanent at 178. That'll be permanent now. It's no promotional. That is a permanent. And now we have a one quart because some customers, like I said, two quarts is just too much paint for them. One quart is gonna go for $148. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. Oh, look at that right there. That looks absolutely beautiful on that black screen. Thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.